we will have the return of some characters, including Scions from the sixth universe in the new Dragon Ball Daima Saga. Well folks, it is a fact that in the new anime Goku will face demons and mysterious races, as we clearly see the Makai world in the trailers that were shown, and the Makai world is the kingdom of demons. But the arc itself will be very extensive I believe, because just like in GT, until Goku gathers all the spheres spread across the universe, many episodes will take place. However the saga of the universal journey will be long, listen well, Goku will meet known and unknown characters. Obviously many new characters will be introduced, but at the same time it is possible that he will come across characters that have appeared in the series before but have not been canonized, such as the characters from the planet Imega, from planet Ludo, and other planets that were explored in Dragon Ball GT, Daima being a shadow of GT, having light inspirations, will certainly not discard so many characters and planets rich in content, you know? I feel like this was Master Akira's will, just as characters from the classic Dragon Ball can also return, as Daima clearly expresses the passion for Akira's nostalgia, taking us to good memories of where it all began. This explains Goku's small but would this be a goodbye? In part, because it was Akira's last gift to us. But at the same time I believe he had many projects and scripts ready to continue with the story. This is because Dragon Ball opened up a range of opportunities in Super, as several universes, gods, angels, races were introduced, that is, the anime became infinite, if before Super there were already wide possibilities imagine now. Goku will need to travel the entire universe in search of answers, answers about his body and his friends having diminished who is behind all this. How did this happen? It's a question that I'll let you answer with your theories in the comments. My theory is that a very cunning and powerful character is behind all of this. Because who would be so interested in turning Goku and his friends into children? Knowing that this would decrease his powers and mobility, only someone who was afraid of Goku would be able to do something like that. And from what we saw in the trailer the Dragon Balls are certainly behind all of this, do you want to understand better? Listen to what I have to say, do you know anyone who might be afraid of Goku's current power level? Discard Frieza because he himself wouldn't reduce Goku's size to win, as he doesn't even need that. We saw that he was able to surpass Goku and Vegeta with just 10 days of training in the temple room, okay, that's equivalent to 10 years, but since Daima will also probably be canon, we can discard this idea, as Frieza currently has no interest in Goku and Vegeta. For me there can only be two people who are interested in reducing Goku's size, and now we come to the most important part. I doubt you can guess, comment below who you think it is, if necessary you can pause the video. In 3, 2, 1, the two people I believe could be behind this are Zeno or Zorama, exactly. But why Zeno? For the simple fact that Zeno likes to play, so when asking Goku to be his friend, he realized that Goku doesn't really like to play or anything like that, especially because in his response Goku was very direct. So he could have done this is so that maybe Goku will feel more like playing with him, as Zeno is needy and needs a friend. But what about Zorama? Well, Zalama is simply the creator of the Super Spheres, which are the only ones in history that are spread throughout the universe, which would easily justify Goku's trip to space. So I do believe that the creator of the Super Spheres may have some involvement in all of this, but what do you think? So that's it guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any news if you like the anime. Thanks for your audience, and I went.